Hello. Well, now you probably know who I am, don't you? It's me. And I want to ask you an important question. Are you going to join me on the, on the cell side of the rebellion against the imperial threat? Or are you going to join the dark side? Let your anger be the control of your um, of what you do, of your actions. Pick a side, and hopefully you'll join me. I'm going to show you a few basic moves. My paddle on there is going to record them. No, I'm not going to use the second one because I haven't practiced my dual wielding skills. I'm going to put the electronic one down. You getting all this, my friend? Here's one of my favourite paddle ones of this era so far, so I'm really trying to follow that. Great that you should never hold it like that, that's a bit stupid on my part. But let's begin the training. First things first, if I put my lightsaber back down, like so, I shall I use the electric, my green one or my blue one? I use a blue one because I like blue better than green now. First things first, activate your lightsaber. With great skill. And we're going to practice a simple laser deflecting skill. Hold your lightsaber like that if you like, prefer to hold it that way. Or like me, you can hold it this way. All you have to do is hold it straight and just go with the bend of your wrists. Like that. But if you're feeling a bit daring, grab it and do it as fast as you can straight away. Simple laser deflecting skill. And the other way, you can still do it. It's just a bit more hard this way for me because I always prefer to hold it this way. Secondary one, if someone's on your side, you can always hold it like that. Let's do a simple turning of your hands. Hold it with your main index finger and your thumb and just do a simple twist. You can, I don't think it is, you can do it this way, it's just not preferred. It's a bit more ridiculous and harder to wield that way. You can also do some basic attacks with those, you can in, improve them in your own personal way. So if you're holding it this way and doing this, you can also spin and attack your enemies while you're doing it as well. The attack, I can't show you any attacks today because I want to be on the defensive today. Now, I've covered the only ones I know so far. I'm not the best, but I have a simple paddle one myself. I am a knight actually. I forgot I'm not a paddle one. My old master was lost to the dark so long ago. Master was Luke Skywalker. An old friend of Open One Kenobi. Or Ben Kenobi, as you know him as. I will teach you one day. I'm going to teach you. And I'll tell you now what it means to use the Force. For those who don't know, the Force is. It surrounds us, it binds us. It surrounds us, it penetrates us, it binds the whole universe and the whole everyone's the creature in the galaxy together. And I'm strong with the force. I can't show my tricks now. I'm a bit worn out by all the battling and the great war today. We did get some clones back on our side, some rebels, some rebel alliances. No big deal, but. I'm going to teach you many things I know about the Force. I told you what it means. I can show you what you can. Do. I can tell you what you can do with the Force. But the Force is are not. It's not actually energy that you can create. It's little creatures that live inside you, microscopic beings that live inside your blood. It allows you. If you have enough, if they have enough of them inside of you, you can actually use them to mimic and to move anything from a distance or even control someone's mind. What I mean is, the force is everywhere, even in you. 
you just can't use it if you haven't got enough. So, you can move this object from a distance with your mind or with the force. You can throw objects, you can pull objects towards you, you can keep um, objects levitating above you. There's even one trick that only a Jedi can perform that a Sith cannot. A simple Jedi mind trick. It doesn't work on every single creature in the galaxy and all the universe for you um, people of planet Earth. But there's a, Sith, there's a move that only the Sith can use that we cannot. They call it the Force of Lightning, where they can connect. Create energy from the hands and project it at any living creature. Also with the force, I learned this recently. You can actually, every because you and every creature in the galaxy are connected. Say so it's like there's a small little creature, always so aggressive, you can use your force to calm it down. If you drop your guard, then it will calm down and be instead of enemy, you can become your friend. I wouldn't recommend this skill on any creature that's taller than you, or the size of a, a the Rancor, or something even bigger than a Rancor, a, a, a Gorok. You will not want to try that move on a Gorok, or it will crush you. You can also use the Force to make yourself move faster, or you can use the Force Cloak, where you can hide your physical appearance from any known en um, enemies on your side. You can also use the force to levitate your body. It's a very great skill. Remember, may the force be with you. Top of the